So in the buildup to the launch release of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, there was a lot of dialogue online around how this game may end up performing. Would this be potentially the best selling Zelda game ever in franchise history? And could it do that at the fastest rate ever? Also, are we maybe looking at the most anticipated Nintendo Switch release of all time? Will we now have some of the answers to those questions as Nintendo as of today has confirmed that The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has sold over over 10 million copies in just three days. It is officially the fastest selling Zelda game ever in franchise history. And in today's video, we need to break down and discuss all these exact details and have a broader conversation on what this means for the future of the Legend of Zelda franchise going forward. What's up nation? Hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification if you haven't already. And as mentioned guys, today we are discussing the monumental reveal that Nintendo just shared early this morning on their Nintendo of America Twitter account and all regions around the world where they say the following, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has sold over 10 million copies worldwide in its first three days, becoming the fastest selling game in the history of the Legend of Zelda series thanks to those already enjoying Link's latest adventure. You can then also see a little bit more of a detailed breakdown from Nintendo Everything in their article that reads, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom sells over 10 million copies in the first three days more. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom sold over 10 million copies worldwide in its first three days, Nintendo has announced. It's the fastest selling game in the history of the Legend of Zelda series. Also revealed today is that over 4 million copies were sold alone in the Americas. It's the fastest selling Switch game and the fastest selling Nintendo game for any system in that territory. The same goes for Europe as well. Another 2.24 million copies were sold in Japan. We also know that around 500,000 physical copies were sold in France. While Nintendo hasn't reported data for the UK, we reported that Tears of the Kingdom is the biggest box release of the year and already the eighth biggest Zelda game ever in the region. Nintendo of America's Devon Pritchard said today, many players are returning to Hyrule with all of its new mysteries and possibilities and with the record-breaking launch of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for Nintendo Switch, we can't wait to see what they'll create in the game and the stories they'll share next. We're grateful for all of our fans who have shown their passion for The Legend of Zelda over the years, and these sales numbers for the latest installment continue to show the strong momentum for both the franchise and Nintendo Switch this year. So you really just don't see games perform to this level historically, hardly at all. It is a rarity to get Nintendo to even report on or talk about numbers because oftentimes we see things like retail copies and we know that. And then occasionally at their quarterly financial briefings, we get some updates on their big heavy hitter titles, but we don't see announcements like this other than those one-off smash hit successes. We did see a similar announcement to this with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet releasing, which we have talked about on the channel. Would Tears of the Kingdom match that type of launch? And it absolutely has. It was a similar number, Nintendo saying over 10 million within three days. And you have to keep in mind that with Scarlet and Violet, there was a large portion of the user base who, of course, double dipped on that game and counted as two copies bought because they bought the double pack. Scarlet and Violet are one of those unique games where you kind of buy both if you're a real hardcore Pokemon fan because you want to have access to the entirety of the Pokemon Pokedex. And that's how you have to do it in addition to just having some different gym battle experiences and things. So this is a standalone game we are talking about at $70 retail, mind you, because this is the first time Nintendo has tested the waters at this price point for a first party published game. And clearly they knew what they were doing because it didn't scare off anybody from buying this game. 10 million units sold, if you put that in perspective. And I love one of the comments I read on the Nintendo of America Twitter reply, where in just three three days, this game effectively sold just 3 million less units than the Wii U achieved in its entire life cycle. And if you really stop and put into perspective where Nintendo is at today with the success of the Switch and with their major franchises popping off on the system compared to where we were at with them just last generation and having a split player base, some on the home console and some on the handheld side of things, this is an exciting time to be a Nintendo fan. To see games perform like this 
this at the mainstream AAA successful level of 10 million copies around the world within three days. That signals to Nintendo to stay the course and to move forward further into this direction with the path that they are on today. We knew from their most recent investor briefing, they've attached over 1 billion pieces of software in the Nintendo Switch lifecycle, which is just frankly unheard of in gaming. That is an extremely high adoption rate of games on a, any given platform in any period of history, and Nintendo is doing that right now with the Switch, and when you have a big sequel to a game that a ton of people are looking forward to, and we now have to really have that conversation on whether or not this game may indeed outsell Breath of the Wild and I think numbers like 20 million are a wrap, absolutely. Whether or not it will get to the 30 maybe depends on how Nintendo handles this game due to the fact that, yes, we are approaching more of the end of the Nintendo Switch's life cycle. I do believe that this will be the last major first party AAA developed game on the platform. We will still see something in the way of a holiday title this year, and maybe we don't know about the new hardware this year, to be fair. So it's possible that we do get something else AAA that's new that we don't know about. I'm not really counting Pikmin 4 as a kind of quote unquote blockbuster game because that is more of a fan service game that will perform likely in the two to five million range for the lifetime of the game but when you talk about tears of the kingdom depending on how they handle it it could very well eclipse breath of the wild if it gets something like a re-release that includes dlc that we will likely see released for this game later on this year or early next year and then it is the quote-unquote complete edition and they then sell that with a performance patch on next generation nintendo hardware i think if we do see a scenario like that we are indeed talking about the best performing game from a sales perspective in the franchise history ever and that's a great sign for nintendo to continue to invest more dollars into this franchise to have more spin-off titles ports and remasters released as well as just a supplemental zelda game that can be pumped out a little bit quicker than the AAA mainline open world format that even nintendo themselves are now claiming is really the future of the series from here we will likely see additional focus on Nintendo World expansions in their theme parks, as well as some kind of movie or animated series adaptation. We've already seen all of the Zelda producers and leads on the game say that they want to see that happen, and after the smash hit success that the Super Mario Bros. movie is, it's more likely now than ever, with this franchise being on fire, that we will see that. So this is great news and a great win and a great celebration for Zelda fans together at the end of the day. If you don't realize how big of a deal 10 million units is within three total days of being available, that is a massive worldwide release by any standard. So I really want to hear from you guys at this point in the video, your personal thoughts and opinions on this news for Tears of the Kingdom. Are you hyped and you do indeed think that it signals great things for the franchise to come? How are you enjoying your playthrough so far with, of course, no spoilers? I am loving every minute of my experience. There's so much to do, it can almost feel overwhelming, but I'm trying to cherish it all and take it in slow bits because it's one of those things that before I know it, we will be past the bulk of the content that's in the game and then you're gonna be replaying it for a second time before you know it and finding more of the small intricacies. So I'm enjoying the story as it's unfolding and taking things slow, but having a blast each and every minute that I boot it up and experience it. And what do you hope we see next in terms of a Legend of Zelda announcement? Do you think we'll get another port and remaster potentially even the holiday season of this year for the switch do you think that we're further off from any kind of zelda news maybe a couple years before we see anything officially announced and would you be a fan of seeing a legend of zelda movie that's now being talked about and looked at even more amongst the success for tears of the kingdom so regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today i do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before we leave the video as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already which is on screen right now also make sure you like subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video